Okay, so we're looking at the simulated environment. Can you just tell us a bit more about that? Okay, this is the house environment that one of our partners have developed uh, called Sim Simply Sim. They're a French company. This is a multi-level house and you can move around this environment in the simulator so I can have a look around the yard and look there's a deck out the back there and you notice the swimming pool's actually got water in it with little waves and so forth. I can zoom in, I can actually go through the walls, <laughs> have a look inside the house, there's a bedroom I think that I'm in at the moment and so on. Okay. Now in addition to that all of our services can be controlled through a web browser. So what I've got here is Internet Explorer running and I've already connected so I'm looking at the simulation in the web browser. And I can see here there's a couple of different levels to the house. I can select different levels in the simulator so I can say first floor and if you look back here carefully you'll see the roof has just been stripped off the house and so I can look inside the house if I want to do that. I can go forward, up a bit and actually have a look inside the house. Right? I can then go over here and say, now hold on, I want to have a look in the basement, which is the level below, and I've just stripped off another layer, and now I'm looking down into the second level of the house. While I'm here, I'll just point out that I can also control the doors in this house. So I'm looking at the basement, and I can say over on the web browser, I'd like to open the door. And you see the door here just opened. I can close it again. And I can do that with all of the doors in the house just through this web browser. Now, does that mean the doors themselves are actually a service? Yes. Each of these <laughs> doors is a little service that says, when you tell me to, I'll open it. When wow. you tell me to, I'll close. Right. And, th and this, could, this, this could be a simulation of like a car factory or anything. Oh, yeah. Whatever yeah. you want to build. These guys are really good at it. In fact, they're probably better at it than we are, but I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> so, in, in fact, one of the really cool things they've got in here is the television set is actually live so if I just back out a little bit and have a look at this environment I've got to find it okay whoops <laughs> here we go there's a TV so we go and have a look and of course it says simply sim because it's a plug for them that's fine it's their software they can do that I'll go over here and say play and it plays a little promotional video for simply sim inside the simulator. So what we're looking at now is a TV show running <laughs> in a simulated TV inside a simulated house. Wow. So, so this really shows you almost the complete story of Microsoft like, Robotics Studio and how it really can take you from a, a, des a desktop, almost a very low-level robot up into, uh, up, into, up into industrial robots. And uh, there's pretty much no limit how far this could go. No, you're only limited by your imagination. Excellent. Well, again, Trevor, thanks for talking to us today, and I uh, look forward to uh, talking to you in the future. That's fine. Thank thanks. you.